Hello everyone, this is your favorite Uncle Bob, back to another video, and today we're going to be looking at the Transformers Energon Cliff Jumper and Beachcomber. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought of the video, or what would you like to see next. So, let's get started. I was looking through my videos, and I'm like, I never did finish the Mega Class uh, Power Linksers, so here they are. Uh, who should we start with? Uh, let's, let's do Cliff Jumper. So, close up on all that detail. Very nice. Like the uh, blue they chose for the headlights. Get that nice yellow with the silver. Get that brown all throughout. And that red for the cockpit area. Kind of that weird olive green thrown in. So, not too bad. There's a nice paint up here as well. So, yeah. Now on to Beachcomber. Which, according to TF Wiki, this is the more rare of the repaints of that timeline because Hasbro. So, then, you know. So, for him, you get the red headlights silver up here. Get this nice navy blue with this blue. On mine, this does not like to stay down. I could be doing something wrong. Me. Why? Well, for the windshield. So, get some nice yellow as well. Not too shabby. And they roll really well, as they should, seeing that they are just chunks of plastic. But for a real quick size comparison, backstop. Backstop. Yeah, these guys are huge. <laughs> now, they each come with their fair share of accessories, mainly just their guns. So, uh, Cliff Jumper gets these ones, and Beachcomber gets these. And to store these, you just plug them in. Uh, with the missile piece facing up and there are ports right on either side of this Sometimes it helps to kind of open it up open Open thank you open them up to plug them in I'm only gonna be doing cliff jumpers because yeah. So just to get you the idea There we go And now he can do some uh, Target practice while driving. I don't recommend that <laughs> so and these do have a little bit of articulation they can go up pretty far so if i mean if i guess a star screams flying overhead you know boom there you go and they still do fire pretty well so yeah now they only go in one way but hey i mean that's cool all right let's see for transformation we're gonna use jiff bumper i mean clip bumper Sorry. Alright, so for him, for both, if you got the missiles inserted, you want to go ahead and split it. So that way you can pop these out, pop them out, and set those off to the side without firing them at the wall. That would be great. Then just leave that separated. Come down here, and you want to basically split the entire section. You want to fold the tire down, take this section... And just kind of rotate it down. And you would think that would be the foot. But nope, the foot's right here. So, flip that piece up. Then rotate about halfway. Rotate at the thigh. Then bring it all the way forward. And there's a foot. Do the same thing for this side. This is on the double hinge. So just kind of mess with it. There we go. I think that's right. Yeah. For some reason, this doesn't seem right, but I know it is. Hold on. No, I was all right. Uh-huh. You actually want to leave it up. I'm sorry, folks. Ugh. I... Like that? No, that ain't right. Come on. Come on, because that is the feet. There we go. Next, get this section just kind of split. Play it open. Rotate this port. You can't even see that. Okay, rotate this back while also getting the tires out of the way. Rotate it back. And then just go ahead and return them back to where they were in alt mode. Rotate forward. Come on. Oh, not one back. Okay, there we go. So straighten it out. There are little nubs. You want to use this one. And it will go into the tire this is where the rivet is and there we go 
Then take this section, just kind of fold it down and fold it up. There you go. Next, you want to lower the camera a little bit, flip up his giant shoulder pads. I feel like his arms aren't way back, but they are. Rotate them up and flip out the hand until it snaps. Flip out the hand, flip out the hand. There we go. And there you have Cliff Jumper and soon to be Beachcomber in robot mode. So, not too shabby. He does have quite a bit of backpack and just chunktastic legs. If you're going to display him in robot mode, what I suggest doing is kind of just folding these up, just kind of make it look a little cleaner. It, I mean, it's something better than just, you know, a giant shin. So, now if you do need more heel support, he does have flip down heels, you know, from the engine block. So you can use those, but honestly, he doesn't need it. I think he's perfectly fine. But let me get uh, Beachcomber transformed real quickly. All right, here we have him transformed, and that's a lot of shoulder pads to try and fit on camera. But, yeah. So, eh, let's go for articulation on him. So, the head can do a full 360, and that is it. The sh shoulders can do a full 360. They go in and out, or up and here. Oh, and so, not... It's kind of a weird thing, because the shoulder pad's included as well in the joint so ball joint at the elbow so that's your uh i would say a little over 90 a little under something like that but that also acts as your bicep rotation nothing at the wrist <clears throat> come on nothing at the waist legs can go forward that far if you have the that piece up can go back that far get this out of the way can do over the full splits on nice ratchets, which, you know, kind of needs it. He's got thigh rotation and 90 degrees of knee bend, or if you really wanted to, uh, over 90 degrees. If you use that joint, well, that's just going to look weird. Nothing at the feet other than up and down. So, you know, articulation-wise, for a figure of this magnitude... It's all right. Nothing to write home about, but I'd rather take sturdiness over articulation any day. So, but they can hold their weapons just fine. Just going to put in the one set. There we go. Or if you really wanted to, you know, um, you can just plug them in up here and or down, down here and, you know, different things. But for a real quick size comparison, here we have a backstop. Eh, I thought it would be funny, but nope. Yeah, pretty big. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to, let's go into combined mode. So I'm going to do him as a shirt and him as pants. You want to remove the weapons, first and foremost. We're going to be going into shirt mode. Not big. So set him off to the side. All right, for cliff jumper, you want to start off by returning the arms into their vehicle mode configuration. So flip in the hands, and then flip up the arms. Next, you want to take this section, just kind of lift it up over the face. Then you want to go ahead and split his crotch. I said split the crotch, thank you. Then you want to take this part and unpeg it. Rotate it around 180, make sure nothing's in the way. Then go ahead and fold it down. I'll just get these out of the way too. So fold it down. Yeah. A lot of stuff gets in the way. Then just kind of bring it down and do whatever you want angle wise. So just bring it down and bring it, you know, either up, whatever. For the arms, just go ahead and bring them down. Flip up the heels and technically that'd be it. I like to fold up that section and rotate this back to its vehicle mode configuration. Oops, this way. 
just to kind of clean up the arm a little bit. So it looks less like a foot just stuck on there. Yeah, go ahead and fold this down and then do whatever you want with the wheels. And then you want to take this section, flip it down, flip it up and kind of, I think you're actually supposed to leave it down like that. You can if you want. It is your toy. Display it however you think looks best. So here we have a shirt mode and not too shabby. So articulation wise, uh, he's going to have a uh, shoulder rotation. If you move this out of the way, he gets the full out. He gets a bicep rotation and nine degree of elbow bend. The head is going to have the exact same articulation. So there's that. All right, set him off to the side and frame. I don't care. All right, for leg mode, you just want to go ahead and you know flip up the hands. Basically, return everything back into alt mode configuration. Just get that done. Then just kind of get these wheels out of the way. You want to flip this up and tab it into place. Bring the whole section back. I said whole section back. Thank you. And then just kind of leave this hanging. You will do whatever you need to do for uh, as far as cleaning this backpack up, whatever you combine them with. So it will just depend. For the feet, you want to go ahead and flip them down. Flip that piece down, rotate it around. I flip up this section. And then you want to flip down. Nope, I said flip down, not pop off. Flip down the combined mode hands. So do the same thing for this side. Go ahead and get all this situated. Maybe this one will actually cooperate. There we go. Nope. <sighs> what the heck? Never seen that before. Huh. Sorry. A little bit of a stress mark or something online. Plug back in. There we go. And pretty much you have leg mode. So give me just one second. And I'll go get the guys I prefer to have these attached to. All right, sorry for that little jump cut, but here we have Powerlink's uh, Cliff Jumper and Powerlink's Ironhide with Beachcomber. Now, for him, he he's back heavy, so yeah, have to kind of chicken leg him a little bit. But as you can see, like something like this, you kind of have to play around with the backpack just a, just a tad. So, but for Cliff Jumper, as far as like Overcast goes, not too bad. I mean, not too much junk hanging off there. Ooh, okay. You don't... These... They, they, no, no. Please stay up. Please stay up. Okay. Now, since he has a... Overcast has a weapon, unlike Ironhide, who's attached, you can, if you'd like, plug these into the screw holes right here. And that's how I choose to display mine. So he can become, become Starscream and shoot my table. Yeah, I swear, these people want to... Good help is hard to find, I'm telling y'all. <sighs> okay. Especially good ones that cooperate. So, you know, overall, these figures are not too bad. For Mega Class, they kind of... I think they got the short end of the stick, especially in their combined modes. They're just so chunk-tastic and not in the good way. Uh, if you had to just get one, get Cliff Jumper because, like I said earlier, TF Wiki said that uh, Beachcomber is pretty hard to find. So I I was I was blessed enough to find one this one for like 70, 80 bucks. So I I'm very thankful for that. But that's about it. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and all their fun stuff. And I'll see you all next time for another video review.